a lot of times I'll want to decorate a box or uh, something I make with a graphic. Now this, what I'm going to show you, can be used for anything from a graphic to what's really popular is doing pictures. And what you can do is actually transfer a printed picture or really anything you create on paper onto wood. Now, my final one I'm going to do on a box. I'm actually working on a little gift box for someone. And uh, I'm going to use this graphic with a little bit of text. And today I'm going to show you how I transfer that. And this is just going to be a sample. I want to see how the graphic looks. So I'm just using it on some scrap plywood. When I do a test like this, I'll use a color that's going to be similar to the final product. So you can see this is a maple box and it's kind of close. I wouldn't want to use a walnut because then I don't know what it looks like. Unless, of course, walnut was going to be my final choice. A couple things you're going to need is a brush. I use the sponge brush. Uh, and then this gel medium. This is something that painters use, and I'm not a painter, so I don't know what they use it for. But it really is just a white gel. And it's very simple to do this, and I'll show you how here. The first thing I do, since this is just a sample, is I'm going to kind of eyeball where my graphic will be. It's just going to be in this upper corner, so I don't need to paint the whole board. And by paint, I mean apply the gel medium. So all I'm gonna do is get a nice amount of the gel on there and cover this whole area. And this is one place you don't wanna be stingy with it because it will affect the way your, your picture or your graphic comes out. So I wanna make sure my whole area is covered. I'm gonna kinda of eyeball that, looks good. Might as well get the rest off my brush here. And all I'm doing is I'm going to use this medium to transfer the ink. So I'm going to put that on there. And as you can see, I, I did way too much, but it actually won't matter, especially because this is just a sample. So I'm just kind of pressing down, making sure that soaks in there. And that's it for the first step. Step two is waiting for this to dry, and then we will come back to it uh, tomorrow and I'll show you what we do next. So now that this is set overnight, the uh, gel has dried. It's a really simple process. I've got a wet towel here, and you want it really wet, but not dripping wet because it doesn't need to get everything all over. And what I do is I just put this on here and kind of press it down, give it a, a second to soak up. It doesn't take long. Depending on if your picture was large, you might let it sit a little longer if it was bigger, but this one is really simple. And you can already see the, the image through the wetness. And once you think it's wet enough, you just simply rub away the paper or rub off the paper. Now the cool thing with this process is that you can kind of distress your picture if you want. And all you do to do that is just rub it a little more. You can you can do it in a certain direction or uh, you know blotches or really anything you want to give it a cool weathered look. Sometimes I do that if it's more of a historical uh, picture or piece that I'm pairing it up with. But there is the final result. It's a really cool way to transfer an image or a picture. And then the last step, which I won't show you because it's pretty boring, is just to cover this with a clear coat. Uh, you can use a Mod Podge from like a craft store. Typically, when I do these, uh, I'll use something with a matte finish if I'm going for the weathered look. And if I want it to look shiny, then a gloss finish, of course. But like I said, you can do images, picture, text, all kinds of different things. It's a really fun process and it's a really cool thing to to add to your woodworks. You don't have to cover the whole thing, but maybe you want a little symbol around the bottom of something or, or whatever. Sky's the limit, because if you can print it, you can do this with it. So, pretty cool technique, something you might use. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I put out new videos every week.